Well, here we are at um, Yakely Sandhurst, a water I've never ever seen before, and, uh, and it's a real sort of good, good event this event. It's a carving for Kodak event. I mean, I always like these sort of charity events because it gets a few people together and who don't normally see each other, as well as it being very social. It's, uh, you know, it's a good, good fishing event also. Um, it's the first time I've ever seen this lake, and uh, unfortunately I come out first in the draw, which is a bit of a bummer really, because you haven't got a clue where to fish if you don't know anything about it. I mean, you're almost better off picking a number out of an act, really. And uh, but we chose this swim. It's quite a nice. It's quite a nice sunny swim. I mean, the lads on the other side are freezing, and uh, I, mean, I don't know anything about the lake whatsoever apart from it's got a lot of carp in it. Um, and I've done a little bit of homework. I mean, I know it's been done to death on maggots in the past, so obviously that's a real good method. But from what I understand, it's, it has sort of blown a little bit. So I've decided to sort of do it with uh, like sort of fairly conventional, like mix of uh, garlic hemp, uh, chili hemp, and crushed tiger nuts. I'm sure that's something that you know, gets the old fish going. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't got them going yet, though, you know. I mean, all I've caught so far is one bream, but we're, we're hopeful. I mean, my partner lost one this morning, so at least we're, we're sort of hopeful, really. And uh, and when I'm sort of fishing with this sort of stuff, I mean, I like to use like a, quite a small hook bait as well, either a bit of plastic sweet corn or or something like that, you know. Um, but in this case, I'm looking, you know, it's a little bit on the hush hush list, this really, but I'm actually using for hook baits. I'm using a little bit, a little bit of clover garlic and uh, it's something I've done quite a bit of in the past and I mean when you smell it it's you know, you know why they eat it basically and uh, it's perfect you know the little sort of couple little bit little chunks of that on the air and that's that'll catch them all day long and uh, I mean what I've done however I've, I've approached it I mean I didn't want to sort of bait every so really I've just put a few spot fills out I mean being bear in mind this lake's been fished all week you know, and loads of baits have gone in so I didn't want to put lots of bait out, but I just put a few spodfuls here and there and uh, hoping the fish would turn up. Yeah, well, I don't, as, I, as I said, I don't really know much about the lake, um, but I've, I've spoke to a couple of lads who fish it quite a lot, and apparently from out from this swim, there's a gully around about 70 yards out, a lot of silty gully, and quite a few fish get caught from that. So I mean, I've got all three rods, basically. I've got two of them in the gully at various points, and one I've sort of pulled back, so it's on the gravel, on the on a sort of nice hard bit, you know? And um, that way I think I've got all sort of eventuality is covered really and uh, I mean regarding what I said about I've been spotting bait out I mean I've been using one of these things I'm, I mean don't get me wrong I don't in any way get paid by this company but these things are really are the best best thing ever you know I mean it takes all the problem of like losing bait on the way out and basically what what it does what you load it half, half full with hemp or you can put out maggots casters you name it chum mixers you can put anything in there Close it up, it casts a dream, ever so aerodynamic, and as soon as it touches the top of the surface, where you go, and you read it straight in. And the funny thing is, when it comes in, it comes in like a, you know, like, it looks like it looks a seagull, really. And, uh, but absolutely fantastic, and I think that's the best product of 2010. And uh, getting back to the rigs, I mean, I'm using, I like to keep things fairly simple, mainly because I don't think you need to overcomplicate things. I mean, providing my main thing is that the rig don't tangle, looks really sharp and uh, I mean that to me is the most important thing I tend to use like, like, like the coated braids and uh, with a real nice sort of sharp hook at the moment I'm using the corder these new ones these oh, I forget what they're called but they're sort of coated with special coating on them like camouflage and they're ever so sharp and uh, simple knotless knot set up with a lead set up with a, uh, using a lead clip and uh, anti-tangle tubing I'm not I've never ever you know anyone who knows me would know that I'm not one for sort of using complicated stuff like you know Maybe because I don't think you need it, and uh, and so that's 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 all there is to it, really. You know, just keep things simple. I mean, the most important thing is is where you got your baits, and uh, and provided you've got an efficient rig, you should catch carp.